Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you my wow box and some friend mail and a freebie that I got from Japan Hall. Um, I redeemed some rewards on their shop and I totally forgot about it and three months later because I had it sent surface mail, which takes a couple months, it's here. So I'm super excited to uh, show you guys that and what I got. So, okay, the wow box came pretty quickly. They've been charging me at the middle of the month. Yeah, I think it's middle of the month. Yeah, yeah, it's at the middle of the month. They charge around like the 17th. Um, and then they ship it via DHL and it came really fast. It's supposed to arrive on Monday, it came today. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. And if you may remember my last video, I wasn't overly impressed with the last, I think that was my first box from them in a while. Yeah. So my um, November box, please. Yeah, this is the December box I'm going to show you. I wasn't overly impressed with the November box because I just felt like there just wasn't a whole lot in there. And looking at some vlogs, I noticed that they sent two of the packaged root items instead of the one yuzu crackers um i think there's the only difference between mine and someone else's so maybe they just ran out and they subbed in two of those um i just wasn't overly impressed with that box and it's 52 dollars guys that they charge every month i think my first month when they when i rejoined or when they debuted that box it was a little bit less like it was like 40 something but this is 52 dollars in boxu i believe it's like 45 so um yeah, I wasn't impressed with the value, but let's go ahead and try them out again. I want to give them a chance because they already charged me, so I'm going to just show you guys what I got in this box this time. So here is everything that I got, okay. Okay, so here is everything that I got in the box. Okay, it looks like it's like a little bit more. This happens without the every time. It looks like it's a little bit fuller this month. This is supposed to be their Christmas kind of edition box. Um, so it looks like they, it's a little more full this time. So I don't know. I haven't posted that video hasn't gone up yet. So I was going to say, did they, my, did they see my video? Because I wasn't super impressed with the last box. But there is everything that's in here. Okay. So it looks like there are several things in here this time. So. The only thing I don't like about Wabox is that they don't send any booklet. Like pretty much all of the other snack subscription companies send that booklet where they tell you about every single item that's in there. With these, <laughs> like this one right here, it's guesswork. <laughs> so I have no idea what, okay, so it does say, at the very bottom here, it says Japanese potato chip, uh, but you really don't know anything else about these other than that they're potato chips okay so we know these are potato chips so we got these potato chips uh, okay and then the next one we have more root chips okay this one looks better than the last ones they sent the last one was like lotus lotus um, roots lotus slices I it was okay it just it wasn't my favorite thing I like these a little better looks like there's pumpkin green beans um, maybe some uh, apples, uh, maybe carrots um, that are in here just like upon first glance. There's more of a mix, so I think I'll like this one a bit, a bit more. Um, I love like these pumpkin. Like pumpkin is so good. Okay, so got those. And then we have these mystery chippy like looking things here. So I don't think they showed you everything and they're like previews of this box. They only showed a few of the Christmassy items. I don't know what this is. I don't want to open everything as I said because I don't want everything to get stale. Because <laughs> um, I did that with my box and like stuff's already kind of getting stale. So I don't want to open it and try it. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and check their website and see if I can tell you guys more about what these things are because again, they don't include a booklet. I don't see this one on their side, guys. I don't see it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to guess because, you know. All right, so here we go with this one. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's probably chips or something, so I don't know. Yeah, it feels like chips. Pretty sure it's chips. Okay, 
Here's that one. All right, so the next one we have, we have here looks like dried ginger. I may give this one away because I'm not overly a big fan of like eating ginger like in like a large quantity because it just has like this taste that kind of like hits the back of your throat and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll probably try it. Um, Okay, I'm gonna just open it since this is a it has a ziploc so it should stay fresh if I get it. Oh wow. Okay, so it's just like yeah, dry like almost like you know the dried mango. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. That's what that reminds me. Okay. Nope, not a fan. I'm giving this one away. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's just like devouring a whole ginger, but candy on the outside. Uh, uh, no, I don't like that. That's not that's no good. If you unless you like ginger, then you you'll like that. But all right, so the next one we have here looks like um, Okinawa handmade chocolates. Now that looks good. Let's see, that looks yummy. So we have these. Um, you know what, chocolates. Let's try these guys out. Okay. Oh, look at that. They're like, like cacao. Like they're not cacao, but they look very wholesome. They don't look like any sort of like American chocolate. It's kind of interesting. It looks like some sort of like maybe, you know, like cacao nibs. Um, that's kind of what this reminds me of. Um, like that vegan alternative chocolate. Okay. Mm. You know, it kind of tastes like that. It tastes like pure cocoa, but in a solidified form. Mm. Wow. That's definitely different, but it's not in a bad way. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like pure cocoa. Like, hmm. That's really good. Uh, bite size, okay, this actually has English on here. I can read, read some uh, hiragana, but um, I'm not advanced enough to know what it says. Like, I can read it, but not know what it means. That makes sense. Uh, bite size, Okinawa handmade dark chocolate with the perfect balance of uh, cocoa. And raw cane sugar. Okay, yeah. So it does taste like pure cocoa, and I can kind of get a hint of a little bit of cane sugar, but it's not overly sugary. Oh, this is actually pretty good. So I like that, but that this ginger. Nope. Okay, so this I've seen before in some of their other boxes. This like they're like little hearts, and they're like strawberry flavored. I think these I don't know maybe like collagen candy. They do send a lot of those. They have like little collagen candies that are like safe for like beauty and stuff. So I'm gonna try this one. Okay. Oh, yeah. So they're in these like super cute, like little heart. They're almost they almost look like look like little jellies, like a little squishy, squish candy. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Yeah, mm. that is a very strong strawberry and milk flavor. I don't really get milk from this. It tastes, well, a little bit, like, mm -hmm. these are like those women's like skin, skin chews supplements. Um, yeah, so it says 6,000, um, milligrams of something. I don't know what this is, but I think it's probably some sort of like skin, hair and nail collagen type of supplement. Because usually this uh, puree here, puree, is usually like supplements. Okay, so the next thing we have here is pretty self-explanatory. These are Hello Kitty uh, crackers, which look kind of interesting. They, um, yeah, they just look like uh, Hello Kitty snack crackers. Muji me na o oka 
Takashi. Do y'all know what that means? My demon. Okay. Tomodachi. Uishi. Uishi. Okay. I was I, I gotta, I try to, I usually use these to try and practice like meeting and stuff like characters. Okay. So, these kind of look like, don't smell like anything, but they look like, uh, like Ritz crackers kind of. That's kind of what that reminds me of. That's cute. Tastes like them too. Crackers. Good. It's a fun snack. Okay. All right. So next one we have here is looks like this is a Christmas. Um, looks like this is a Christmas snack of some sort. Some sort. Uh, I've only seen the one with the snowman. <laughs> They're uh, advertised like inserts. So this one, cashew. So cashew. This tells you what it says. So this is something with cashews in it. Um, I can. This is the ka. I believe this is um, katakana. Katakana um, is like uh, for like a representation of a lot of English words. So cashew, shoe, and this kind of elongates like shoe, you know. So baking apple. Okay, so let's see what's in here. It's something about cashews and baked apples, right? Okay. So we'll see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I take this off. It's so cute. Like, pretty straight. Let's get this cute little bag. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's like all of one apple piece and uh, some cashews in there. I think it's like there's like there's like one. Is that an apple? I think it's an apple. Okay, so we have all these like cashews and then we have like, I don't even know what this is. I guess it's like a, a single candied apple piece. It's kind of random. And the rest are cashews. I don't know <laughs> That's if that was intentional, but it was in this bag of cashews, uh, which we'll go ahead and Try out. Christmas themed boxes. These are always fun. So this one says almonds and caramelized. Almonds and caramelized. Some caramelized almonds. Okay. So again, this is the health and beauty box. It reminds me of the prefecture box, which is more based on region. So this is what the uh, caramelized, I guess, that's it like, but looks like there's a few things in there. So let's see what's in there. Looks like there's like chips or something in there. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see what's all in there. So, okay. Yeah, so we do see the almonds and there's like little, there's like little chips. I don't know what these are. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that one tastes like coffee. Yeah, I think these are like dried bananas. And like coffee powder. But I only thought there were almonds in there because it's all sets of almonds. Yeah. And then we have the candied almonds. These are kind of fun and different. 
But I like the like espresso case that they got going on there. All right, so yeah, these are definitely looks like almost kind of reminds me of these um, those uh, Kona coffee macadamias you see in like Hawaii. Kind of tastes like that too. Okay, mm, that's good. All right, so looks like we have some Hokkaido corn chocolate. A couple different packages here. I don't know what the difference is, but we've got two in like this bronze package, and we have an orange one. Just like seeing each other here. It's like a mystery. mystery. Oh. Oh, okay. It's like a nougat. Yeah, that's interesting. It's like a puffed rice. Like, like peanuts? Rice? Oh, corn, 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 yeah, that's okay, this is corn. It doesn't really taste like chocolate, though. It doesn't look like chocolate. But it's good. Okay, let's, let's see what the last one is here. It looks the same. It looks... Corn. Oh, this one... This one smells like pineapple. I was like, oh, yeah. look the same. Yeah, that one tastes like pineapple. I'm not quite sure what the, hell the other one tastes like. I, mean, I don't know. Like coffee, yeah, like I said, like, like coffee. All right, so that is my wow bomb. Oh, wait. I got one more item. It looks like some little candies. Um, so it says candy here. Looks like some sort of guava candy or something. That would be cool. I said I wouldn't try these things out, but I ended up opening a lot of these. Uh, but thankfully a lot of them have like Ziploc baggies. So, nice. so we have like just like just like some little fun candy here. Okay. Alright, so there is an insert. Okay, so we did get an insert. <laughs> it's all the way at the bottom. Uh, my bad. So we did have an insert here. It only shows a couple items here. Um, okay. So none of these were in my box. Okay, okay. This was for the prefecture box, which has kind of more like sweet stuff in it. The Healthy and Beauty box was kind of more like healthier type natural snacks, which is what I'm subscribed to. Um, all right, so they just are highlighting some of the stuff in here, and some of these things are fairly obvious that we already kind of knew, and this was the almonds, the chocolate, and then the Hello Kitty crackers, the uh, Hello Kitty Murray biscuit, no, um, the Murray, Murray pie, established in the 12th year of Taisho, is collaborating with Hello Kitty in a treat that tastes uh, unexpectedly delicious. I won't say delicious, it's good, but it just kind of tastes like like a Ritz cracker. <laughs> it's nothing like really overly that special. We have Feve Almond and Caramel Banana Christmas Package. Founded by Hiraki um, Sujiguchi, a well-known pastry chef in Japan. Feve brings you a natural dessert. It's about really sweet and perfectly balanced. Yeah, so it's kind of a nice sweet treat that's not like too like carby or anything. And then the Yuku chocolate. This treat is handmade by Craftsman with carefully selected brown sugar from Okinawa and 72% chocolate from Ghana. Okay, I really love these things. So at least we got descriptions for three of the items in here. Uh, this month we present to you a special Christmas present that will keep you help help you keep a healthy diet but satisfy that sweet savory or sweet craving during the holiday season. A box that offers healthy snacks with domestic ingredients and unique flavors that will surprise you. Each month 
from the new taste of original snacks that fall into one or more of these categories. Vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, organic, and additive-free. So that is a good thing about this box is that if you are someone who has certain diet restrictions or allergies, this box is a little bit more friendly to that. It doesn't guarantee that every single item is going to be vegetarian or gluten-free, but they do have those things in it. Um, they're kind of more targeted to um, people who have dietary restrictions, um, so like the nuts, um, you know, you're not going to find like I don't know, you're not going to find a whole lot of like eggs or like things that like are made with like vegetable or um, chicken broth, that kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of nice. I really kind of like that. So the reason to consider this box and they just kind of talk about their prefecture box, which is their other new box that has more like a little more treats in it. Um, but I did, I did really like this box. I was a lot more impressed with it than the last box because I'm like, when I saw them charge me again, I'm like, oh my god, this is, maybe this will be my last box. But you know, I actually might give it another go for another month and just kind of see because I did, I was truly impressed with everything here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 snacks plus this little guy. The last one was like seven or eight snacks. We got 12 snacks. A lot of them are full size. Um, and we got a lot more this time, so I was a lot more satisfied, especially for this Christmas box. So I think I'll give it, continue giving it a go. Um, if I get another box like last month's where it was just very skimpy. Okay, so as I was saying, I, I'm gonna get five of those give this away because I was not a fan. Very strong ginger taste, but other people might like it. It's just not for me. Um, but otherwise, I, I really like. As I said, I enjoyed this box. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you've tried this box. I'd like to know more people who've tried this box. I feel like it's not super popular because I was like looking on YouTube to see what other YouTubers saw, and I just really didn't see a whole lot other than maybe like one person. Um, but yeah, if you've tried this box, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll leave a link if you want to check this out. I do really like this once box. I'm really uh, excited about it. I think it's really worth it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Japan haul freebie that I redeemed with my points for my purchases. <laughs> Hopefully it's still good because I did order it three months ago. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I ordered this on September 16th. And zero dollars Pokemon Sun and Moon cookie with a freebie, which I'll show you. So I just picked out these chocolate chip cookies. They look pretty chewy. They remind me of the green tea cookies I see in like mid I like that. They look just like this and they're chewy. So we got this. This is one. Okay, so we got this one. It looks really good. So I think this was like five dollars only, and then we got the super cute Hello Kitty charm, which I actually was not expecting. So I don't know. Like, I guess they just decided to throw in this cute little freebie. So I love this. Thank you guys. So I got two freebies, which is nice. To <laughs> like two for one, like two for one freebies here. So it's a free keychain. So I got that. And for FYI, for those of you who don't know, don't know Japan haul. This Japan haul. This Japan haul, isn't it? Yeah, Japan haul. I'm thinking Japan Crate. Japan Crate is their like competitor. They have a lot of similar stuff, but they are like Tokyo Tree and No Make No Life's parent company. Um, okay, so I think I'll go ahead and try one of these. Just want to take a quick bite. Kind of a freak. Yeah, so it did take, yeah, just, just under three months to get here. Okay. Let's just try it out. So they come in these like little, like little packages. Pokemon on them. I don't know how fresh it will be. Okay, so it looks like this cookie. It's very itty bitty, which is part of the course for Japan. 
Yeah. It's still pretty chewy. Good. Okay. Mm. It's like double chocolate. That's good. Okay. And so the last thing my good friend uh, Ingrid from my X Files group sent me while she was in Brazil, and she had thought about me and it made me super happy. So I'll go ahead and show you. She sent me, she sent me these Japanese Kit Kats of all kinds of different flavors. Thank you, Ingrid. This was super thoughtful and sweet of you. So I'm super excited to try these out. Um, it looks like they have Kit Kat Melon, Kit Kat Sake, uh, which is uh, like an alcoholic beverage, like a Japanese wine, if you will. Kit Kat Wasabi. I have a feeling it's gonna be like the ginger candy that I just tried. Like. And then Kit Kat Matcha. So I'm really excited to try all four of these. So they're four different flavors. I, as I said, I don't know how I feel about the wasabi flavor. It's super weird. Um, but sake and Kit Kat Melon. It's a very interesting combination we have here. Um, okay. So that is that. It has like these cute little Shiba, Shiba Inus on here. Right here, so really cute. So we have this box. So I am, so that is it. Everything that I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed all of these Japanese snacks. I really enjoy trying them and I'm so stoked to hopefully be able to go to Japan in 2022. We're hoping right now because we have a couple of trips planned tentatively because of everything that's going on. I'm supposed to go to Italy in May and then I'm supposed to go to um, Thailand and China in next November. Yeah, next November. So I'm so, so excited. I love traveling. It's been kind of a funky year. I mean, we did do a couple of road trips, which is kind of nice this year. Just like in state, tried to be safe and all of that. I'm so excited to finally go somewhere, a couple of nice trips next year and to be able to see the world. So I'm just so, super excited about that. And I'm hoping for a Japan trip in maybe early 2022 because we have a lot of things planned uh, this coming year. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please, please, please. And then don't hit that, don't forget to hit that bell to get notified on your way out. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would super appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.